Legend tells of a time when man was first born into existence. He was from the land up high, and slowly descended into the realms below. Within this higher plane of existence lived a mighty overking, and his beautiful subjects. They lived in a land that was commonly referred to as the higher heavens of Lisha, where each man lived peaceful lives. Each unburdened with the toils of man, and each with a desire for more out of life. Within the higher heavens of Lisha, lived imams, sentinels, hunters, woodsmen, and all manner of creatures in the wild. No draconians lived here, this was a place only for humans, the beginning of their kind started here. The beings who occupy this land, are no strangers to evil, which lay outside. Warriors train to defend the freedoms they have, for the sake of their people. Most of the inhabitants, have strong mental abilities, which stretch further than that of the ordinary human. These humans believe in honor, and staying close to the powers of light, rather than giving in to the darkness from below. With powers of extraordinary ability, they can lift their arm and command nature itself. For sight is common among these humans, able to see in the future. Some can see seconds, minutes, and only hours, while others can see ahead in cycles. Above all things, the people respect all life, not just their own, but every creature that exists, and draws a breath. Though the high heavens of Lysha is untouched by any draconian attacks that occurred within the Lysian Empire, they still have the ability to travel freely among the plains and realms outside of the high heavens that they call home. Usually traveling to places for a good hunt, trade with other beings, and teaching others about freedom, inner truths, and independence. Most of the time though, they travel to other realms of splendor, adventuring into areas that most wouldn't dare go. Mapping out areas of the unknown is one of the highest honors to any individual within the high heavens of Lisha. It is the highest form of intellect among the scholars within the realm. Discovering the powers of the outer worlds in order to harness it, and bring those powers within their grasp. The ground within the realm of the high heavens consists of precious gems, diamonds, emeralds, and gold. Structures are built in strange angular shapes, some reach high into the sky, while others shoot out like blades of grass in all different directions. These structures were originally a part of the landscape, but were hollowed out and made into places for the people of this realm to live. Wildlife still roams the countryside, and the grass still grows, but, not as softly as that of grass on the lower realms of Lisha. The sparkle of grasses, and soil reflect everywhere, as the golden sun shines. At night, the sky is filled with a beautiful borealis of lights, stretching across the sky with a wondrous amount of bright blue stars in the background. Gentle snow sits upon mountaintops high above, and can be seen from the warm, tranquil, towns below. The cold air on these mountaintops are dry, making life there easy to live in too. The air itself is fragranced with scents like that of perfumes. Fountains of healing water are scattered throughout these lands, free to all who wish to use it. After the invasion of the Draconian, the high heavens of Lysha was untouched, but, in place, where the Divine Palace once stood, the city of Novar was built. Its mighty ziggurat gleams in the beautiful sunlight of the higher heavens, and the people tell the stories, written on the murals of its walls, about the mighty Zithra, 